different cities, different customs. Parking in the city of the future will look a bit different than it does today. Cars fit into the tightest parking spots. Carbon fiber reinforced plastic, or CFRP, is considered the material for electric cars. The extremely stable yet light material makes brand new vehicle designs possible. Even now, aircraft construction would be unthinkable without it. Wing flaps, tail cones, and other components of the A380 are made of this new material. Carbon fiber reduces weight, and that saves lots of energy. The material has long found practical use in recreational sports as well. Whether tennis rackets or racing and mountain bikes, the lightweight composite material facilitates athletic achievement. But there's a catch. During carbon fiber production, organic materials are transformed into graphite-like carbon fibers. Because this process requires temperatures of more than 1,000 degrees Celsius, it is extremely energy intensive. In order to make this new material truly energy efficient, the energy used during the production process shouldn't go to waste. That means the carbon fiber fender of an electric vehicle should ideally become another component for an electric car. Only then can the carbon fiber material continue to save weight and energy. That makes high quality recycling extremely important. It's mostly production waste that is currently stored at CFK Valley Stade Recycling, a subsidiary of the Karl Meyer Company located in Wischhafen, north of Stade. The coming years, however, will see the arrival of components that have served as aircraft parts or parts from electric vehicles. We expect an increasing amount of CFRP production from the current 30,000 tons to some 100,000 tons by the year 2020. Around 30% of that is waste, so we expect an increase of up to 30,000 tons of waste during this period. That's why we're now investing in CFRP recycling. The company's goal is to integrate the CFRP composite material into a closed cycle. To that end, the firm uses a technology called pyrolysis. To ensure the high-quality recycling of a variety of components, the fibers have to be recovered with maximum mechanical properties and a defined length. In addition, the fiber surface must remain undamaged. As a first step in processing the material, production waste made of scrap or defective parts is sorted and broken up into smaller pieces, partly by hand. The pieces are then placed on grids with predetermined sizes. Workers also place entire components on the grids, like this bicycle frame made out of plastic reinforced carbon fiber. That way, the pyrolysis unit is supplied with continuous batches of various CFRP components. During a process called pyrolytic decomposition, the thermochemical division of organic compounds takes place at temperatures of more than 500 degrees Celsius. That means long-chained molecules are broken into smaller ones through heat alone and without oxygen. In the case of the bicycle frame, the carbon fibers held together by long-chain epoxy resin are split apart. High temperatures immediately send the smaller molecules into a gas phase. Only the carbon fibers remain. The gases are captured and fed into a special burner, where they're burned to accelerate the pyrolysis process. If the process remains stable, no additional energy is needed. 
a built-in flue gas cleaning system purifies the gases in accordance with German federal regulations. After the pyrolysis, pure carbon fiber is all that remains of the bicycle frame. Metallic remnants are removed by magnets. And the clean process leaves the surface of the carbon fibers almost completely undamaged. Since there was no burning involved, no particles are attached to the fibers. And there's no change to the carbon structure, which is important for the stability of the material properties. The resin-free carbon fibers are now ready for the next step of the procedure. Special machines are able to process the material into pellets or fiber powder. In addition, fibers with different lengths are provided with a special coating so they can be integrated into other plastic matrix structures. That way, CFRP waste is turned into important raw materials for the plastics industry. Along with other research and development projects, engineers at the Kunststoff Institut Lüdenscheid are turning these raw materials into new products. First, they fill a twin screw extruder with polyamide granulate. After the material is melted on the twin screw, the recycled and processed carbon fibers are added and mixed with the melted material. The newly created plastic composite is placed in a cooling bath. Then it's once again cut into granulate in a pelletizer. As a compound, this granulate possesses a high density since it contains especially stable carbon fibers. That makes it suitable for demanding applications in a variety of industries. Engineers at the Kunststoff Institute pour the new granulate into the opening of an injection molding machine. The machine remelts the granulate and injects it into a mold. That's how this part of the casing for a navigation system is made. The strength of the compound allows parts to be made with minimal wall thickness. The weight is reduced by up to 20% compared with materials made of plastic reinforced with glass fiber. Along with electronic components, CFRP compounds can also be used for challenging applications, like the rear injection of glass and metal components, or for the covers of instrument panels. If, like here, it finds use in the aircraft or automobile industry, energy is saved through the light weight of the component. The CFK Valley Stade Recycling Company works together with other partners. With mechanical engineering company Grimm Schiff Technology in Hildesheim, they've developed a procedure to process the recycled fiber directly into highly valuable semi-finished carbon fiber. The process uses fibers pre-cut to a length from 1 to 10 centimeters. A non-woven fabric is formed in a special air bearing unit. The fabric is laid on a track and rolled up. It's then sewn together in a neighboring unit. Treated with resin, the resulting carbon fiber fabric can be used to make highly valuable automotive components. For example, a stable yet especially light covering for trunks and spare tires, or for rear decks. Mm -hmm. 
new recycling technologies could mean that the roof of an electric car might become the roof of another one in the future. Materials of the future will have to be just as recyclable as aluminum and steel is today. New recycling technologies are being developed for CFRP materials even before they've appeared in large quantities on the market. And that sounds like a good custom for the 21st century.